welcome to tutorials point in this video we will understand concurrency in rest so concurrency strategy that is followed in rest is done using e tag so to understand the issues of concurrency in rest services let us consider a scenario here so here we have user 1 who gets a resource for example he gets a resource from an api okay and the api responds with a resource and again we have user 2 probably within a gap of few seconds he requests for the same resource to the api okay and the api responds with a res http response message now if the user 1 makes a change to the api he sends a put request and makes a change to to the same resource that he has requested and again user 2 makes some other change to the same resource what happens is that the changes of user 1 is lost so this is a similar scenario that you might have encountered in elsewhere so let us see how rest can solve or how we can solve this in rest using tokens called e tags so over here the user 1 he issues a get request to api slash author slash one and the api responds with a message saying 200 okay successful and with a e tag so this e tag this is a token that is related to this particular resource okay now user 2 again he sends a get request okay to the same resource and he gets the same e tag over here note the e tags are same because the resources that they both are working is the same now if user 1 is saying put means he is going to update if match 1 2 3 4 means he is referring to this same e tag so he is updating the resource and he is identifying the resource with the help of the e tag and he is going and updating it and the server or the api responds by saying that okay the updation is done but the e tag for that particular resource has changed because the contents have changed and basically how it generates e tag is that it runs a hash on the data and generates an e tag so now the same resource since the contents are changed the e tag value is completely different okay so now user 2 okay so this is the guy over here he holds that resource so now if he is also doing some modification to the same resource by saying put if match 1 2 3 4 what happens is that the server or the api cannot find a resource with an e tag of 1 2 3 4 and it responds with a message saying 4 12 precondition failed so in this way the changes of user 1 is never lost and the user 2 is forced to retrieve the latest data with the e tag 4321 4321 to basically update the request or the data okay so that's how concurrency is solved in rest and uh, it's pretty much solved using e tags thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning